Good Monday morning. It is the 26th of March, maybe? Yeah, that rings a bell. I am almost ready to start the week, head off to work, start my little commute to Panath. Um, I'm standing in my hallway. I'll give you a tour of this one day um, and explain a few things. Oh, it's pretty colourful in here. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a week in the evenings this week, so I'll be able to show you around the house a little bit and uh, show you what I get up to in that sort of thing. I'm hoping to be able to dye my hair this week because that is not a good look. Sorry. Have a good Monday and see you next time. So tomorrow I get to drive the love bug. I forget till I'm in it how beautiful this car is at night time and how lush it is to drive. Oh, such a good ride. I'm hoping that the weather is nice tomorrow morning and I might even have the roof down. Wait till you see what's in here. I just remembered. It's Monday. There's an Easter egg in my cupboard. They just go together like... Yes. So... It's been about two weeks now that... Um, the relationship ended. And um, I'm wondering what to do. I want to know what people do when you know things like this happen and um you know there's tagged photos and there's there's stuff everywhere like and do you keep removing these things do you delete these things do you leave them there um because i feel like if i start if i continue to delete things there's huge gaps in my life and i can't delete two years nearly of stuff so what what do you do where does it go why can't it just why the cut facebook algorithm just go oh she doesn't need to see this get rid of it hi i've listened to so much music today i'm in such a good mood it is almost 11 p.m I'm quickly making tomorrow's pack lunch. I'm just gonna say, I'm loving these sandwich tins. They're genius! I'm loving them. So I'm playing with some Molotov toothbrush. This is a cover by them of an old school. 50s, 60s, I'm gonna say 60s. I don't know. Um, and I thought I'd show you my bread. Michael, see you Tuesday leaving the house with wet hair because I'm so 90s not really I haven't got time uh, it's raining so it's gonna stay wet yay oh who's setting up for a good Tuesday um, me come on Aerosmith Hello, it's me. It's Tuesday evening. Um, I'm just upstairs and I wanted to give you a little tour of my oh creaky floor <laughs> of my pearls. Um so yeah, as you know, probably by now, I run a little hobbyist business with my mum live online. It's called Perfection Pearls, and I just wanted to show you 
some of the things that we have. I absolutely love all things octopus and kraken. So this is one of my favourites. Uh, the obligatory skull and crossbones. Oops. This is a... And I'm back in the room. So I, keep, I like to keep my whites and silvers in there. I'm going to leave that there. This is new. This is my free flowing pearl that just rolls around its chain. I'm going to wear that tomorrow. Um, and then these are the ones that I don't have on chains as yet. And just my free pearls. Um, I love this turquoise. Wrong side. Pearl in the deer skull. Um, so yeah, our pearls are Japanese. They are some are salt water, some are fresh water. I've got a camera for when I'm being a photographer. Earrings, unicorns, lotus flowers, paw prints, and fairy castle. So I just wanted to show you because I just like opening this and looking at my pretties and then. So back downstairs now. Um, yeah. So a little. Um, online business. Um, you can join us. We are live uh, twice a week, Sundays at ten thirty a.m. for about it's usually a couple of hours or so, um, and Wednesday evenings from about seven p.m. You don't have to buy anything, and we love having a chat with people, seeing where everyone's from, and um, just a bit of a laugh and a chat, and just chatting about the week and airing our thoughts and stuff so you don't have to buy anything to join us you don't feel obliged um yeah some sometimes just to a small business like ours i like and just your company is enough so feel free to join us it is sometimes well it is lots of times quite a good laugh um and you get to meet some really great people so i'm very thankful for what it's done in that respect and that's some great friends so yeah whilst i'm in a chatty mood before i cut down for the night um just a roundup of my tuesday really busy day in work and um, walked about 6k today and um, so pretty proud of that really it's a good bit of progress um on the broken foot which is no longer broken um but i don't know what to call it anymore but um yeah the recovery time is long um and that's the most i've done since breaking it so pretty pleased with how well it's coped i've got an ankle support on so probably need to take that off thanks Jokey, thanks and chill for the night so yeah that was my tuesday on to wednesday tomorrow is a very long day um yeah i probably won't be home from work till half seven eight o'clock so there's not going to be much footage tomorrow maybe i'll film some job I was feeling so extra this morning because um, it is currently now 8 p.m. just gone and I'm only just now coming home from work. I have done 12 hours and that is a shock to my system. So I have to race home. My mum is already live with Perfection Pills so I'm going to join her on that and I hope to chat with you later. If not, then I'll sign off for today and see you on Thursday. What a crazy Wednesday. I've got crabs. Oh my goodness, look what I had in this oyster that I just opened. An actual crab. Look at his pinches. Look at his moustache. Ah! <laughs> I moved the shell and it moved and I jumped <laughs> It's the last day, it's the last day Never been so happy for a bank holiday A double one, Friday and Monday Short weeks, I love short weeks It's core, nearly half a seven And I am, oh look how good that is into trouble, Coca Cola. I'm off to work. Uh, I will see you on the flip side, and it is going to be a lovely long weekend full of doing everything I love and just being in my bitch cave. 
Have a good Thursday, everyone. I will see you later. Babies. Hello. It's Mama. Hello. Lulu. It's Mama. Say hi, Mommy. Are you excited? Hi. Hello. Look what I came home to. Present, 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 present. Eggs! <laughs> How exciting! Mama Pearl and Papa Pearl have gone away on holiday for Easter. And I've just come home to your presents. How lovely is that? On the <laughs> Somebody else's lake. You dream about going away. That is a big mistake. Home in my new PJs. Talking of which, I can't be the only person who is obsessed with PJs, Disney PJs from Primark and saves the labels. Obviously, not that. That's my Hal Bunny dress. But yeah, look at my little collection. I flippin' love them. Not gonna lie, they make me very happy. Good morning. Say happy Friday. Don't stand on him, whatever you do. Hi, I'm your hair. And it's raining. What am I going to do? Oh my God, it's crazy in here. Are you alright? Yeah. You okay? All good, all good. <laughs> yeah. How you alright? Yeah, good, you okay? Good, good. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs>
this afternoon um really impressed with a 3-1 win can't get my words up i'm just so excited um yeah really good afternoon um it was a good game actually i uh i was impressed with quite a few really really nice to see um gunnison come back on the pitch madeen make his home debut i believe um and i'm thinking that everyone looks strong bryson looks strong um and everything really is going our way. So next up Tuesday is away at Sheffield. Um, and then home Friday for top of the table clash. Wolves versus Cardiff. First versus second. So exciting. Don't know where to look holding my phone like this. So do I look there? I literally have two bottles of wine with my actual name on. So I'm thinking... Happy Good Friday! Gem! You know you're fancy. When the cork is glass. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I don't know why this makes me so happy. Oh, such a good thing. What's this, Lulu? Is it your genie lamp? 
Oh, I'm so thankful to my friend Channing, who has been to Primark for me. Well, not specifically for me, but picked up the lamp. And Laddie Lou, we're going to have a little photo shoot. Here's a little life hack for you. I bought these um, ice cube trays in Primark because I just love the Mickey um, shape. They're not very good as ice cube trays because they're really hard plastic. But I've arranged my costume jewellery and my earrings into them. So I can just lift them out and pick what I want. So clever. I am attempting to put this... Um, vinyl stag on my shower screen um i think i've about got it pretty much central i'm not sure if that's too high up but then lower down it might look silly so i'm thinking this is a good height i just hope i can get it on with like out air bubbles and la 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 so wish me luck and hopefully i will be able to show you the finished product soon it looks a bit far over doesn't it Ta -da! i'm pretty happy with that it's moved over a little bit to the right um but i wanted this side more sort of screened off even though not too much but just a little bit of blur i'm quite happy welcome home I just had a nap, it was bliss, and now I'm going to get ready for tonight's moon event at Porthcary, my camera's charged, and I'm very excited, five more minutes and then I'll get up, I promise. I am at the most lovely event. I'm in a great location. This is Porth Kerry Park, surrounded by nature, the birds, and squirrels. I am at a Love Luna event. I came here as a photographer. There are um, two other photographers here, so I'm going to focus on the vlogging. So this is Love Luna. Tonight is a full moon, the second one in the month of March 2018, so it's a blue moon. We're here at the lodge, 
um, and there's a lovely group of ladies assembling in this beautiful room for an evening of spiritual well-being. This is what my glasses is made. The log fire is lit. The lights and the lights are on and lit. And it looks to be a great night. I'll vlog throughout um, as much as I can. Um, and I'll show you what's in my goodie bag. My goodie bag is packed with the most amazing things. Crystals. Um, and lots of positive affirmations, some tarot, stickers, um, cards of people that I may need. This beautiful greetings card, I'll show you in closer detail where it's all from. Um, again, more stickers and pin badges and a lot of reading material. So I'm really thankful that I'm here. Um, and I can hear the ladies behind me greeting each other and so many compliments and such nice things being said. This is looking to be a great night. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Um, down at the river is um, a channel um, that promotes well-being um, in every aspect. It's really close. Um, social, spiritual, occupational, physical. Um, I think the list is endless, to be honest, at what they're able to do. Um, I used to interact with Down at the River a long time ago. Um, when I worked in Panath, um, and it's great to reconnect. So I'm really looking forward to tonight's circle, and we will see what comes out of it. Tonight is based on spiritual because of the moon. Um, I'm not sure we're gonna get to see that moon today because we have a lot of cloud cover down here at the beautiful Porth Kerry Park. Um, Alongside my development through my career, 
I have had a mad passion for spirituality and um, developing my sensitivity to different energies and it's been a huge important part of my life that I have kept hidden for a lot of my journey. Um, about 13 years ago I embarked on it and I have kept it a secret for most part of it and a few years ago I decided to do what I do with the fourth chakra which is the heart chakra which you can use the green one for that also but we're going to use the pink one and you can, you can use either for the heart chakra. I personally like to use the pink one for the green one. So uh, so the pink is your rose quartz which is for your, for your heart. Okay so it's all about learning about self-love and um, rose quartz I find more feminine one too, isn't it? Yeah. Gentle energy. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we're going to do uh, a short hypnosis session. So I had the most amazing evening um, with, I've talked about it a lot, I know. Um, I went down to the Love Luna event at Porth Curry, held by Down at the River. Um, I'll post their links all below. It was incredible. It was an evening focused on spiritual well-being for women um, because of tonight's full moon. Um, and it was far exceeded my expectations i absolutely loved it um so there were, were so many themes running through it that i made notes of and and just i'm really excited by it um so i'm gonna read through my notes now um and just share a couple with you um because i really want to record it for myself as well as share the message um, so I'll do that in the next video. So excuse me while I look at my notes. Um, so yeah, the, the session started with talk about self-love. Um, and, um, we were encouraged to consider the whole us, um, physical, emotional, social goals. Um, and all of those, when you try and work out an, a way to achieve them, come back to your own spiritual well-being. Um, understanding, acknowledging and knowing your true self. And to find out who you are, you have to embark on some sort of spiritual journey. 
and to be, to be able to stand up and say, this is who I am, this is what I want, I am worthy of this, um, is a really big thing. Um, and that has to come from within and to yourself. take time out to care for ourselves on our own um, and to think about what issues are coming up time and again um, and what situations are repeating and that really hit home with me um, based on what has happened of late with the relationship breakdown again um, and it 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 made me realize tonight that it was something clearly that I need to work on within myself um they were saying that they were huge advocates of journaling which is something I have started so clearly I'm on the right path somehow um and that journaling helps you to face yourself internally to start shifting things um and then we heard from a lady called Chris I have her link so I'll share those again in the description um, and she was talking to us about something called RTT, hypnotherapy. RTT stands for Rapid Transformational Therapy. Um, and unlike regular hypnosis, this works in one session. Um, so we were able to um, be put under by Chris, um, uh, which involved deep breathing and the holding of the rose quartz crystal that we were gifted at the event um rose quartz is for self-love and past care um and it was just an incredible experience to go under and to cleanse myself of um the the energies that i didn't want to carry forward with me anymore um, so then we questioned ourselves in what's stopping us from moving forward. Um, and if people can't accept you for who you are, then they're simply not good enough for you. Um, your Our minds believe everything we tell them. And it's the what if that's stopping us or myself. I'm, I'm, you know, purely thinking about myself in this. But if the message helps somebody out there, then happy days. Um, it's us that's stopping ourselves and and we are good enough um and then we were encouraged to think about what do you want to be do and have in your life going forward um then there was some talk about again the the crystals we were actually gifted three crystals um some raw serpentine um which is for emotional and spiritual intuition um the rose quartz and the howlite which is brilliant because that's for busy. holistic holly again i'll link her um began burning sage and she um smudged all of us in the room which was using feathers and blowing the sage smoke on us which was an incredibly lovely experience to share that um and to be part of it um and it's really good for cleansing so it she cleansed our bodies but she said that she does it in her house um particularly if there's like been a lot of arguments or um negative energies then she does it in like the four corners of rooms or her house um and that's something i feel like i'd quite like to do in this as i reclaim my space after the breakdown of that relationship and then just going on from that there were a few other things that I wrote down which I really loved emotions are contagious so not only do we pass our emotions on to people around us but we also take on their emotion and I think that's um was quite profound for me um so I I, I made a note a note of that um, and also the law of attraction. The universe gives us what we think of. It can't decipher between what we want and what we don't want. It just gives us more of what we think of. So our our thoughts are dragging us down, or 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 indeed you can flip that and and make it, you know, be positive. So something else certainly to think about there um, and we must learn that it cannot be always full steam ahead and to have patience and wait um and then one more thing that I really really loved was um the phrase we grow through what we go through um and that was again quite profound um and it's a bit like panning for gold when you know what to look for actually what you need is there to find um so yeah, I was really thrilled by tonight. I met some fabulous ladies. It was such a positive atmosphere. People were complimenting each other. People were instantly, you know, friends and connected through that 
um want for well-being for each other and ourselves and it was a really positive experience um and it happens every six weeks on the new moon or the full moon um so that's something i'll be watching out for and joining in on again hopefully um and i really loved it so thank you very much down at the river for the experience i'm gonna sign off from the weekly four um, it's already quite late, so I'm going to head to bed and edit the video tomorrow and drop it on my channel. Um, it's been a lovely week. Um, things are going well and, yeah, I'm genuinely really happy. So um, perhaps it was meant to be. Um, so thank you all for watching and um, participating, commenting, liking. Please subscribe. Um, and follow my journey, whichever way it may take me. Good night. The weekly fall is done.